All right, folks, my name is Freyan, and welcome back to Smallland. Today, we're going to be checking out the rest of the Giant's Fall update. We've got some spiders to kill, we've got a hornet to tame, and we've got an NPC that needs to be found. The merchant is out there somewhere. They're all over around the uh, around the ruins that we've, we've bumped into. So let's go and have a look, see what we can find. Ooh. I do love these catapults, man. They are fantastic. More games need stuff like that, so you can launch yourself across the map. Of course, ideally, um, yeah, you know, with, without the uh, the possibility of death, you need something like this, this wingsuit to go with it. Catapult wouldn't work on its own. Okay, so here we are. We're back at the ruins. Got a bed around us somewhere. There it is. So let's let's just land there. Respawn point. And oh, I've been watching back through some of my old footage lately, just while I've been having a bit of a clean out. And you know, I never remember to use the, uh, the potions. Given we're headed into an area filled with spiders and hornets, I can't help but feel a resistance to poison would be a huge asset. So there we go. I'm learning. I'm slow, but I get there in the end. Now let's just see if we can skip around those, uh, those annoying flies. Hopefully. Less damage I take on the way in, the better I'm going to be. Watch the spiders. Um, I reckon I can slip past this hornet. I think that's a yes. What's that? What was that? Cyclamen. Oh, I think we found that before. The spiders are down there. See those those little red guys beneath us. So, let's hop down. Uh, I don't know what that is, though. That little glowy thing there. Okay, they are shredding through my block. And all my stamina. And there's a lot of them. Oh god. Just keep coming. Okay, colony spider abdomens, yes please. They are spawning out the ground very rapidly. Mystical glitter. Parmage hunting powder, it says that this glimmering substance has the ability to transform your very being. Face markings rifted can now be found. Oh, so that's that's a new um New customization. Um, I've got to get out of here. I want that abdomen, but I also want to live. I don't think any amount of dodging is going to help here. It's my normal go-to for fighting mobs in this game. But these are just spawning too fast, too great a number. And the uh, the stamina drain from that much poison, even with the resistance. Oh, good god! Yeah. Oh. Go 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 go. Oh, there's more. So many more. I just need some stamina, please. Go, go, run. Edge. No, 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 no. Come on, stay in your hole. Go away. <laughs> Tiny little, like, hop and glide. Oh, okay. How many did we get? We got six. Hopefully that's enough. Um, what's up here? Can 
Can we get a bit of a line of sight or anything? Can we maybe see where the merchant might be? Hmm. Poison is still ticking. Another six seconds. Jeez. Okay. Let's get out of here. Probably need a few repairs, but we have to head back to base anyway. Because we need to go make our Hornet treat. Okay, so. First, let's have a look at our new, uh, new thing. We're going to have to take the helmet off. So, stitch that, that needs a repair as well. Now let's have a look. We just got face markings. Rifted. Not that you ever see any of these with your, your hat on, but there we are, it's a new face marking. I wonder how many of those there are to collect. Hmm. I wonder. Ah, helmet back on. We'll repair it and then let's get ourselves a hornet treat. The spiders really did quite a lot of damage. So Hornet treat. Colony spider after we need three, we got six. We need one petal, two seed oil. One petal, that's the petals. Seed oil, it's there. One hornet treat made. Let's get all of our bits and bobs back in here and save those for later. One hornet treat. And a storm. I can't head right back out to go tame it because there's a storm. Perfect timing. <laughs> I swear, these storms are just always at the worst possible time for me. I go visit an NPC, you know, that, there we go. Storm, straight away. <laughs> now, where? Where do we think the merchant could be? We fully looked around that cellar and I couldn't see anything from the high point. So maybe not around here. It should be somewhere in this sort of general region though. It's a it's an endgame thing. It gives endgame unlocks, endgame materials, things like that. So it's got to be around this sort of area. This is meant to be the last zone you visit. Or at least in the previous patch it was the last zone. King Stag was the final part. And now of course we've gained access to the ruins. But I couldn't see any sign of an NPC in this area. Maybe be up here? There's also this fountain area down here which it seems like it was built for something. I obviously, you know, humans, we know what we know what we build a fountain for, but in game purposes there's this whole little region down here you have to climb the stairs to and there's nothing unique about it at all it doesn't lead anywhere there's no unique resources or creatures so maybe maybe they've placed them in here so we'll catapult ourselves back over we'll go get a hornet and then we'll uh have a look around. I, I'm thinking the fountain. I think the fountain's a good bet. Oh, tell you what. Actually, if we're heading out to get a hornet, we've got a hornet tree, but let's take some bugs lamps. Feed our hornet. Because so we have to weaken it before we can tame it, of course. And, whoops, take me away! I do love these catapults. It's a sudden slow of momentum when you, uh, you start using the glider suit. Very strange. It's on the other side, actually. I don't need to come over here. Hmm. That's where my catapult's aimed, so may as well. Uh, 
Hang on. Oh, no, I, I thought I saw a little glowy patch of powder again, but no, it was the, uh, the yellow of the lizard. Which I could have completely avoided. Damn my curiosity! Okay. Stay away from the flies. There's our target. Um, one or two good pokes with the spear should do it. Come on. Come on, that's it. Tame, tame. Yes, there we go, right. Um, let's drop you some food. Oh, hang on, let's get away from the other hornet first. There you are. Food's on the floor. Eat it, please. Come. Do you do you not like those? Now ah, there we go. It's healing. It's healing. If you could heal a bit quicker. I'm, I'm very grateful. No eating animation for it. Well, I suppose all the other creatures that we've fed, they just use their normal attack animation, and it would look very odd for the hornet to be skewering it on the end. Okay. Um, let's just get you out of the way. Pick up our food. Okay. So how does this compare to the uh, the damsel then? How much how much stamina has it got? And is it faster? I can't actually tell. I want to say it's slower than the damsel. Um, hopefully, it packs more of a punch, more health as well. But it doesn't feel the speediest of mounts. There's nothing quite like flying, is there? So much safer. Of course, until your mount decides to uh, suicide into a bunch of enemies, but there's not much we can do about that sometimes. We saw how it was with the damsel. I left it far, far away from the boss and still drew itself in. Right, so there we are. Fountains over there. That's where we're headed. And the stamina comes back pretty quick on this thing. Looks like I might never actually have to touch the ground again. Okay, one fountain. Um, I don't see any lights, any candles or, or torches. That's normally a good indication of an NPC's presence. Um, it just seemed like such a, an obvious area to put something new. It, it's sort of out the way, it's off to the side. It, it seems very unused and yet very purposeful. So this is my my best guess for something. A house. What's down there? Hmm. There was actually there was a boat in 
in the trailer now I come to think of it for this patch that is definitely a boat this could be it okay uh, stay no hornets allowed on the boat okay hello merchant who are you? I am a travelling merchant. I cover the vast oceans in my boat and more wherever I think there might be something interesting to collect or someone to trade with. Can I see what you have to sell? Hoots! Minted coins. So 20 pyrite gets us 10 hoots. 2 pyrite to a coin. Okay. We can buy hoots. Ten spider abdomens for two hoots. I'll take the pyrite option. Gathering pyrites, uh, that's a hell of a lot easier than fighting those colony spiders. Jeez. And then we can trade the hoots in for metal parts, vines, and flowers. Okay, well, um... Yeah, take the schematic. Um... Done. Traded. Thank you very much. Have you got anything else on this boat I could I could uh, have? Anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. Okay. You are, you are the best merchant if that's all you sell, but I'm sure you'll be expanded in the future. For now, though, let's learn a new thing. So, decorative vine, decorative vine, decorative vine, decorative vine. Yep. What else have we unlocked? Decorative vine, flowers. So five types of vine, three types of flower, metal foundation, concave, convex, metal door, metal floor, metal floor, concave, convex, metal pillar, diagonal railing, horizontal railing, curved railing, metal stairs. I have a feeling we're going to go through a lot of these. Should we? Start flying back while we wait. Metal wall, metal curved wall, metal door frames. Jeez. It just keeps going. Metal roofing. Hello, lizard. Oh, enemy hornets. More roofing. Okay, that's the end of the list, and we are under attack. Okay, good. I'm quite willing to fight you, see what our hornet's made of, but I would rather not do it near that stag beetle. Um, wait, have I still got my whistle on me? Whistle, 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 whistle. That's like four, come on. Leave the stag, leave, leave the stag. Okay, he is hitting way harder. Oh god, I think my hornet's short-lived. It's already dead. Oh my god. I mean, I was going to say, uh, yeah. I don't have much luck with tames in this game, do I? They don't seem particularly tough, able to actually fight anything. I really thought the hornet was going to be different. Still love it for its ability to fly. Getting to that fountain was a hell of a lot easier on the back of a hornet. But damn, the second an enemy came near me, it was gone. A stag beetle, not the best thing for it to fight. I didn't even want it to fight a stag. I wanted to fight another hornet. But the hornet ran off, mine chased, stag got drawn in. Yeah. Ah, oh dear. Poor matchup, something that Pierce resists. Mm. Well, there's got to be, got to be better controls. That's something I would like to see 
changed in future as far as the uh, as far as the tames go. If you put it on stay, it doesn't actually stay. It stays until you get attacked, and then it, it turns around and goes back for it. We had that one on stay there from when I was down at the uh, down at the boat, and of course, as soon as an enemy appeared, it still went out. Same thing happened with the damselfly and the boss. We put it on stay. As soon as we engaged the boss, damsel came in and died. It's something I think the game does need to work on. Better controls for your tames. Otherwise, personally, I'm not seeing too much point in having them. I can't take them anywhere without the risk of death. Even just as a transport, it's, it's not working out for me. Oh well, there we are. I think we've just about covered everything from, from the new patch. Obviously we haven't built a, a metal structure because... Oh, let's see... What do they cost? Can I see in here? No, it's not going in there. Is it in the compendium? Nope. Um, where is my build hammer? There we are. Building. Metal. Iron shards. See, I'm very short on iron. We need iron and pyrite for it. So, as much as I would love to go and build a metal structure right now, I'm going to have to do a hell of a lot of gathering. That's going to have to be something for another episode, I think. Yeah, that's, that's the patch all checked out. Everything new. Looking forward to see what they do with the next one. Maybe we'll get a bit of an expansion to the map. Fill in sort of these big areas around the side. Down here, perhaps. But that's going to be all for today, so thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, do consider leaving a like and subscribe. It all helps support the channel. We'll be back to cover the next update whenever that hits. And in the meantime, take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye!